Hi, and today we're gonna have a majestically awkward talk about seed oils, all right? Seed oils, from what I've researched and I've also kind of detoxed myself from them, I feel a lot better. <laughs> they're not that great for you and they're in everything. Okay guys, they're in everything, all right? The things you wanna stay away from are canola oil, vegetable oil, cottonseed oil, grapeseed oil, soybean oil, sunflower oil, rice ban bran oil, and corn oil. All right, here's some examples so you know what I'm talking about, okay? Got some harmless mayonnaise, right? Harmless. Look at these ingredients. Soybean oil right there. All right, we got some cake. Everyone likes cake, I know. It's not that awesome, but here we go. Where are you at? Soybean oil, right in there, or canola oil, canola oil, right there, okay? These are supposed to be healthy, guys. But, lo and behold, what do they have? What do they have? Canola oil, right there, okay? And then we have some chips, all right? We got our Tostino's chips, okay? What do they got in them? Vegetable oil, corn, canola, and sunflower. All right, sorry guys, not good for you, not good for you, just for that alone, all right? You can always like make replacements, it's all good. But here are my suggestions for just the oil part of it, okay? Got coconut oil, that's a good one. You can use G butter, right here, okay? Olive oil, get the good stuff, it's worth it. Yeah, avocado oil, get the good stuff. It's worth it. I got some Publix brand, but that's not terrible. And then you can actually use your good old butter, not margarine, butter. Do not use the margarine. That is not good either. Crisco, not good. Once they came out with like Crisco and all this kind of stuff, that's when Americans or all of America or the world started putting on weight because they started putting in everything. It's like, when you put these oils in your body, it's like putting, I don't know, let's say, it's like putting regular gas gas in a premium car, all right? It runs like crap. So you gotta use the premium car or, or premium gas, or you gotta put like tablets in it and make it better for you and stuff. But I mean, that's hard enough as it is. So look at your ingredients on your, you know, anything that you make. My rule of thumb is that you can actually eat anything you want but you just have to make it from the best ingredients that you can come up with. So for example, I make pizza. I love pizza, pizza is delicious. But, so what do I do? I actually make the pizza dough. I get my good old flour, sugar, I get the natural cane sugar, yeast, you know, obviously I get my good yeast, but when I make my sauce, I make my own bone broth. I cook the tomatoes, I cook the onions, I cook the garlic. I have all my, you know, herbs I put on my herb drying rack, put the dried herbs on in there as well. I buy the best cheese that I can possibly find, like all natural stuff, and I shred the cheese. I get the best, you know, pepperoni I can find, no antibiotics and stuff in there. I use mushrooms, I use whatever I want. but. You, you have to use the good ingredients if you're gonna cook this kind of stuff and eat it, you know? It just, that's how the diet works. Anything you want, you just have to cook it from scratch. It just takes forever. <laughs> but hopefully that'll inspire you guys to make, you know, your own food, try to get rid of all these, you know, not so awesome oils and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.